In this week's tip of the week, we're going to recover some shadow detail in this photo, and then we're going to selectively apply some filters and local adjustments. So if you take a look at this photo here, it's a little bit underexposed. We're going to want to do something to this foreground area to bring out some of those shadowy details. So what we're going to do is we're going to start inside of our Develop tab here. And we're going to use our tone and color pane to sort of reveal some of those darker areas on our photo. And the first slider that I want to use, and it's not going to be your shadow slider, is going to be my contrast slider here. And I'm simply going to grab the contrast slider, and I'm going to pull it all the way down. And you'll notice that by pulling this contrast slider down, it's bringing out some of those shadowy details in my foreground area. So without modifying my exposure at all, I can go into my midtones and shadows, pull them up a little bit, and I can slowly start to reveal some of those darker areas within my foreground. Now keep in mind that by removing the contrast from your photo, your photo is going to tend to look a little flat. So to fix that, you can actually head down to your black slider here, and you can pull down on it to add a little bit of true black and contrast to your photo. So that's probably a good point to leave our foundational tone for the photo. We've kind of gone in and brought out some of those shadowy dark details in our foreground. Now I'm just going to head down into my temperature slider here, and I'm going to pull up on it just to bring in some warm color to my shot. So now let's hit the backslash key on our keyboard. And you'll see the contrast slider really helped us out a lot by revealing some of those shadowy tones in our foreground. So now let's selectively add some style to this photo by using a couple filters and a local adjustment. So to add a filter, I'm just going to head into my Effects tab here. I'm going to Add Filter. And the first filter I want to apply to this shot, I want to apply a good amount of detail. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to choose Dynamic Contrast. And I really like how this looks on my photo. But I don't like the detail in here on these rocks and on the water. So to selectively apply this filter to the areas that I want it, I'm going to grab my masking brush by hitting B on my keyboard. I'm going to make sure I'm set to paint out here, and I'm going to make sure that my opacity is at 100%, and now I'm just going to paint this dynamic contrast off of the water and the rocks and wherever else that I don't want it to be on my shot. So now let's head over here, and I'm just going to pull up on the small slider a little bit, just to bring in a little bit more of that micro contrast. And now if I turn this off and on, you'll see it's adding a nice amount of detail to the foreground area, but not applying it to anywhere that I brushed it out of. So let's add another filter here, and I'm going to add this sunshine filter. And same thing, if we turn this off and on, I like how that looks on parts of my photo, but I don't like how it looks on these sandy areas in my foreground. So if I only want it to be applied to this area in my sky and the water and these smooth rocks, I'm going to have to brush it in. So I'm just going to head into my sunshine filter here, and I'm going to select my masking options. And now I'm going to go into my masking options, and I'm going to choose invert, so that it inverts my mask to black to conceal it from my photo. Now I can use my masking brush. I'm going to go up and make sure it's set to paint in. And now I'm just going to brush this filter on where I want it to be applied to. And I'll just head down and I'll give it a little bit more sunshine. And now if I turn this off and on, You'll see it does a good job of selectively applying that sunshine filter strictly to those areas in the water and on these smooth rocks. So now let's add one last filter here, and I'm going to add a LUTs filter. And inside this LUTs filter, I'm going to go into the category, and I'm going to choose Vintage Matte, and let's use a Simple Warm. And don't worry, I'm going to pull down on the opacity quite a bit, but I just want to give it a little bit of that faded matte look right there. There we go. Now we have sort of a faded matte look on our photo. Now let's go in and let's add some local adjustments to pull out a little bit more shadow detail. 
I'm just going to head in and add a local adjustment layer. I'm going to go into my local adjustment layer inside these preset styles, and I'm going to choose reveal shadows. Now I'm just going to brush this local adjustment on the areas that are a little bit dark and could use a little bit more exposure. So now let's head over to our local adjustment layer and I'll just pull down on the opacity and then I'll pull it up a little bit. to reveal some of those darker areas in my shot. So now if I turn this off and on, it does a good job of revealing some of those shadowy tones that are on this hill right here and over here where it's a bit darker. So now let's hit the backslash key on our keyboard. And there you have it. That's how to stylize and reveal shadows from an underexposed photo. I'm Dylan with On1 and thanks for watching.